Now take a look at every scalar or vector field equation written on your fluid mechanics books. Most of them are written in Eulerian form. These fields are in Eulerian form if vector field are both function of time and space, or else they might be in Lagrangian form, if it is function of time only. For example take a look at this velocity field. It is function of time only, so it is in Lagrangian form. Now, you can easily calculate its acceleration by differentiating it with respect to time. But what about this velocity field? It is in Eulerian form. Function of both space and time. How can you get its acceleration? Acceleration is derivative with respect to time only. But here velocity field is function of both location and time. So getting its acceleration, with respect to time only, is a little difficult task. But don't worry about this, you can easily get the acceleration field by using material derivative. By using this operator you can easily convert velocity in Eulerian form to acceleration in Eulerian form. Let us visualize fluid acceleration, using the nozzle of a garden hose. To understand its acceleration, it is very important to know the difference between steady and uniform flow. You will never understand concept of material derivative if you can't figure out what uniform and steady flow are. When the velocity of a fluid at a point does not change with time, we refer to the flow as steady flow. And when the velocity does not change from one position to the next, it is referred to as uniform flow. Look at the converging section of the nozzle. Velocities are not changing on those fixed points. They stay the same quantitative value, which makes it steady flow. But it is changing from one position to next so it is not a uniform flow. Now, again take a look at the cylindrical section of this nozzle. Velocity is again not changing at this point with time. So a steady flow. And velocity is also not changing from one position to another. So a uniform flow and this gives the combination of steady uniform flow. So on a cylindrical section, water has steady uniform flow. But on conical section, the flow is steady but not uniform. Now if the velocity is function of position and time, we can get acceleration of this nozzle using the material derivative. The first term on this right side is related with point, whereas the second term is related with location. This first term will be zero, if there exists steady flow and steady flow is related with point. Whereas the second term will be zero if it has uniform flow and uniform flow is related with location. So. The first term on the right side indicates the time rate of change of the velocity of the particle. As the velocity at a fixed point is not changing with time, velocity is constant and steady. So partial derivative of this constant velocity at fixed point is always zero. But the velocity is increasing along the position of this nozzle and change from one position to the next, so there exists acceleration because velocity is increasing along its position.
This non-uniform flow creates acceleration. So, even though flow is steady, there exists acceleration. So never imagine the nozzle has zero acceleration, if it has steady flow. But, what about acceleration? On cylindrical section of this nozzle. Do acceleration exist on this location? Well, the flow is steady so the first terms on the right side cancel out. Also the flow is uniform. As the velocity is not changing with position. So in this case the second term also cancel out. Hence the acceleration is zero. Now note that, while the flow is steady from the point of view of a fixed observer in the Eulerian reference frame, it is not steady from the Lagrangian reference frame, moving with a fluid particle that enters the nozzle and accelerates as it passes through the nozzle. The material derivative concept is very useful in analysis involving various fluid parameters, not just the velocity field. Last time we use it on velocity field to get an acceleration field. This time it will be on temperature field. Consider a temperature field of this flame. If you look properly, Fire particles are always in motion, so they have some velocity. So, it is interesting to determine the time rate of change of temperature of a fluid particle as it moves through this temperature field. And this time rate of change is obtained from material derivative operator. Also note that, we cannot use material derivative, if we do not know the velocity field. This makes velocity field, the most important parameter in fluid mechanics. By knowing velocity, you can determine the time rate of change of any parameter or property of fluid. So the time rate of change of temperature, of this moving particle is the first term on right side is related with time which determine whether particle is steady or not whereas second term is related with velocity which determines uniformness or not an unstirred cup of coffee will cool down in time because of heat transfer to its surroundings. You can easily visualize it with material derivative. The temperature is decreasing with time at various points and is unsteady. But the fluid particle is not moving on this temperature field. So velocity is always zero in unstirred cup of coffee. That's why the decrease in temperature with time is purely due to unsteady flow.